My wife and I came to Alaska so I could study the Arctic sea ice and how recent changes have impacted the native population. With me as a student, we didn't have a lot of money and thought the dream of a place of our own was out of reach. But it didn't make sense to us to just be up here for an interesting job. We needed to make an adventure out of our everyday as well. Yeah, it's beautiful. Another little very uninhabited road. Then it dawned on us that through most of human existence, people have lived in very simple structure, even in the Arctic. Okay, come on, Maybe it was hope let's after show. all. Oh, he wants to go that way. Well, you guys follow this way. We found a cheap property in the lowlands close to the university. The moisture of the ground quickly ruled out a sod house, the most used dwelling in Alaska. But Mongolians used to live in tent. In Mongolia, it gets cold just like Fairbanks. There's a hay storage. Their yurt must be a possibility, we thought. We searched online and found that many people found yurts to be very cold and not to work in this climate. But we decided to give it a go anyway, since our faith in the native way is high. What kind of horse is Lenny, Brittany? Arabian quarter horse, curly horse. She gets cold, so she has a blanket on. Yeah. Oh, hi, Ben. Look at all the rhyme he has. He has white eyelashes. Do you see that, Vinny? Huh? Yeah. We have to plug in our car because it's really cold. We have blanket for the car and blanket for the horse. Okay. Follow us. We wanted to keep animals and try out the farm life. Certain horse breeds too good and keeping chicken wasn't a problem. Although I don't like how long they have to stay inside during the cold winter months. We were very happy with how comfortable it is to live simply and minimalistically and that the yurt works so well in even the coldest city in the U.S. In my mind, this proves that the yurt is not only possible, but a desirable home. And if so in Alaska, probably anywhere. Twenty below Fahrenheit. Hello. It's cold out there. There's a little Arctic little arctic entry and here are all of our saddles and here we put all of our junk and our shoes it gets quite uh, quite full in here and uh, now we're gonna get into the living room and here's our living room with our couch and now we have the windows blocked up for the winter. It's dark outside anyway. And here's a little dog. Hi, He is tired. He gets tired in the winter. And in the summer. He likes to relax. And here's the dog spot with his dishes and his bed. And here's our dining room table. Here we, we sit and eat. We pull this out when we eat. And Here's our little TV and our fireplace. We usually watch both of those simultaneously every night in the winter. And here's our project table where we can uh, do sewing and uh, other kind of projects. And then our kitchen. Here we'll do all of our cooking and get the heat off of the, the fire. Ooh, that's hot. And here we have two waters. We have, we have drinking water that comes out of this one that we fill up in the back there in the Arctic entry. And then we have water for dishes and, and other things that comes from 
a holding tank that is up on the sleeping loft. Um, it all drains down to a bucket that has to go through the little hatch where all the water, the clean water comes in and the dirty water goes out. This is our shower bucket where now we're heating up some, uh, some water up on the stove here. That's warm, ready to go. And then we pour that into the shower bucket that goes through the, through the hose into a pump and then into the shower. A little shower that also drains under the yurt. And here's our sleeping loft. It's kind of difficult to climb up here. And here we have a little dome where we can see out. Sometimes we get the moon out here and also get the heat from the, the stove pipe up here. Sometimes it gets way too hot up here. <laughs> How do you like the yurt, Brittany? I love it. <laughs> this is the yurt from the loft. Dining room table. Project table. I've never seen a dog who likes nori sheets, but this one will do anything for one. Is that good, Yeti? Wet horse blanket in the living room. Smells good too. Smells what like a that? smells like a wet horse. I don't want to smell it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> She's had this on for days now. Sometimes we get restless living out here in the middle of the winter, but we appreciate the peacefulness that it brings. The weather is getting warmer and more animals are now visiting. Our horse has this interesting relationship with the moose. Grizzly bear and a moose have raided our animal food storage at different times. No, no, no. No, no, no. But that is just a part of living close to the wilderness. Sometimes having animals can be a little bit of a challenge. We were a little concerned at first if we could be vegetarians in, in this cold climate, but this turned out to actually be fairly easy. We like to have a toast in here. The nice thing with having a small space that is that it's not that hard and it doesn't cost very much to heat it up to whatever temperature you want. And when it's negative 20 outside, it is certainly nice to have it really toasty inside and it feels half normal. Yeah, not so bad. Live in a yurt. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. 
Hey, do you want some smoothie? He's not interested. <laughs>